Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we are super happy to have you here. And we just ask that you bring an open mind and heart to your listening experience and to be prepared to explore vantage points that I'm convinced will help shift or solidify your current understanding of the ultimate nature of reality in a way that is extremely empowering. Speaking of exploring powerful perspectives, I'm super excited to announce the release of my very first book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. If you're ready to alchemize the circumstances in your life so that your abundance expands to an entirely new level in 2021, Head over to goldenkey.gift to download the audio or ebook as my gift to you by using the code POSITIVEHEAD. All right, all you positive heads, welcome, welcome one and all. I'm ever so grateful that you all have joined me today on one of these very special days where I'm not alone. And today is really an extra special, special day because I have one of my soul family brothers here with me. Soul family indeed. Yeah, mm. yeah. This is Aaron. <laughs> and Aaron is just an amazing being in and of himself, but he does a lot of really wonderful work and has such wonderful tools and practices that I wanted to share him with you and all, all he has to share and, and give. And so Aaron and I just did a breath work session. And it was the, actually the very first breath work session I've ever done. Wow! And I didn't know I didn't know that it was the first one ever. Very very wow. first one ever. Okay. I've never actually done a full mm -hmm. breath work session. And so wow. this was amazing. So before we get into it, I yeah. just want to have you introduce yourself, say hi, okay. and tell people a little bit about yourself. Well, well, I I love Eric so much <laughs> because. Uh, my I'm, well, firstly, okay, I'm Aaron Gannon, and I'm, uh, I'm based in California, uh, and I teach breathwork and qigong, and I've been doing it for, I guess now the, the qigong for almost se seven years, and uh, and now the breathwork, um, and the breathwork I got into because I wanted to feel more present in my qigong practice, and oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, and so I started breathing more, and the Dantian is that lower belly, and it's your gut, and it helps, it's where your presence comes in, and, um, and so I found that breathing helped me be more present, and it helped me feel into the, these layers of presence that you uncover when you do Qigong, which is, you know, like, it's kind of like merging with nature, and it's kind of like being with the divine, kind of like being with you. Aww. You know, it's really, uh, which we we had an empress show up. We did. During your session. But, we did. No, but um, Erica and I, I just, you know, we, we have gone way back to the solstice of 2000, I forget 17. which year that was. Yeah, to 2017. And, um, and I guess with you, I've never felt... M a person who is so humbly uh, a master oh. in training, uh, a master. Always in training. Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, uh, you're just, you are so embodied in your practice. Oh, and you so uh, it's a privilege to get to be, you know, spending the weekend with you guys. Um, I love you so much. Thank you for yeah, that. I yeah. really appreciate that. Aww. Um, you see why he's my soul family, you guys. <laughs> well, we, you know, I, we were, weren't we saying like we, we were outside and it was like, it's been a year and a half mm -hmm. and we were just picking up like it was yesterday. Right. And we've only known each other for four years. Right. But no, because yeah, no. that's just in this yeah. body. Right. <laughs> we've spent lifetimes together, yeah. of course. Right. So, and what's interesting too is meeting on the solstice like we did, we, it was also the same time I met my partner. Right. And there was actually a group of six of us that are all really good friends still. So, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, very magical time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and really, actually, you know, in terms of why I do what I do, is it's about you know creating a space to enter true presence. You know, without lots of bells and whistles, and without you know the luggage. You know, um, I've I, I've actually heard 
a number of people who have done the breath work say that they get like years of therapy done mm -hmm. in one or two sessions. <laughs> well, yeah, it makes And there's no sense. talking. None. <laughs> it just brings in the clar it brings in clarity uh, without the the different twists and loops and you know, it's just the breath. Mm -hmm. And the breath is hyper intelligent and and as you felt, it's it can be very powerful too. Extremely mm -hmm. powerful. Mm -hmm. So, you guys have heard me talk about the different energetic sensations that I feel when either I'm in meditation or I go in trance state or have different energy type treatments done on me. And I talk about the vibration and how sometimes it can be super intense. Well, with this breath session that Aaron just did with me, and given if you listen to my show last two or this last Tuesday, the last show that we did, that I did you heard that I've been going through a little bit of stress and my body is overreacting. And so this was a really good time for me to do a breath session. And the minute I laid down and started breathing, the vibrations started and they began and they got more and more intense and they peaked and then they stayed there for a while. And then they started coming down towards the end of the session and they weren't completely gone until we were completely done. Yeah. 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 There can be a, a lot going through all the bodies, your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body and, uh, and your spiritual. And, and really what I've found is the breath is the doorway to presence. And it's the, it's the doorway to just feeling. And sometimes we don't know that we haven't really been feeling in our certain areas of our body. So, so we breathe, the more we can, you know, I had a Qigong teacher once tell me where awareness goes, qi flows. And so much, we don't even realize our awareness. I love that you is just said like, that. Is like all over the place. Yeah. To the point where we don't even know where the awareness is. Mm -hmm. And so um, the practice of just breathing, you just feel the breath, first of all. Just the sensation, the feeling of the breath in your body, in your lower body. You know, with, with our breath, you know, what's unique about it is that you do breathe through your mouth um, for part, for, you know, a good two thirds of it, right? Mm -hmm. I think is what we did. And when you breathe in the mouth, it helps you to breathe into your lower center, your lower belly just below there like the Dan Tian which is that grand central station of Qi it's the place where uh, a lot of emotion the water it's known as the water region and so that water can be programmed sometimes uh, with intensity and in, you know to even even waters can flow you know a little bit <laughs> all of those things just came to my mind when you said the water because yes without the water you don't have the flow. And yes, water is programmable. Masaru Emoto taught us that. Yeah. Right? Right. And I think that that's, that's amazing. And to remember that our bodies are mostly water. Right. Th three quarters water. Right. And that's programmable with yeah. intention mm -hmm. and breath. Yeah. It's that simple. Right. And it's funny because uh, one another breath teacher, you know, enlightened me, uh, me to the fact that like our left and right bodies are really you know these and different ends of a battery <laughs> and yep. and there is a, an expressive tendency and there is a receptive tendency and, and so as, to that point sometimes when we're working with your right side and uh, we want to express more in our life that right side maybe might feel a little more tight um, or there's just not as much flow going through and so the breath opens opens it up so that that expression can come to life and then we have affirmations too sometimes that um, are, are attuned to the meridian points where we're, we're pushing where we're giving that acupressure and then it opens up the breath and it opens up life breath is life and and it's okay to breathe in all your good um, as you release what isn't serving you Wow, and you know, it, it, literally, it feels like all of that when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. You can feel, like I could feel with each breath how I was being more present and how I was tuning into my body and how I was feeling where the stuckness was, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, and then there were so many parts, you guys, that were super emotional that 
he would say an affirmation and it just struck me and I just start crying, you know, and then having to breathe through all of that emotion and to release it yeah. and, and, and feel into it yeah. and, and start to understand it. And what's beautiful is in that place of presence is a really wonderful place to listen to your higher <laughs> self. And so yeah, I, I got so sure. much wonderful insight and understanding about what's going on with myself <laughs> just by breathing. Yeah. And, and it really is that simple. It is. It's not your everyday breath, you know. For no, people, it's different. But yeah, yeah, it's different. But but it is it is a, a pure elemental um, practice, and 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 it reveals so much too. Your yeah. breath, you know, that affirmation that we said. I believe it was like my heart and will are one. But yep. sometimes we're afraid to breathe in one of our you know one of the parts of our body. We may be afraid to breathe into our belly, or we may be afraid to breathe into our chest. Um, and that, that is demonstrated in the form of the breath. And so when I, when I get to watch your breath, I get to, you know, kind of just give a little bit of a nudge mm -hmm. and then you, uh, yeah, it, it aligns and then you don't have to think about that. And then the, the work comes through. Yes. The work comes through and it feels in alignment. And it's like spirit does it for you. Right. There's no thinking. There's None. no, there isn't any, like we talk a little bit, I think we talked like what, five minutes before your session and then, uh, and, and then we jumped into it. We set mm -hmm. an intention to mm -hmm. keep things, you know, clear because sometimes when the intensity comes through, you want to have that, that shining light of your intention. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and then it's just breathe. We just breathe. And it's brought so much joy in my life. It's, it has completely transformed the way that I connect in my daily life. Um, I used to be, you know, have a super high stress, um, wor work for the sake of working and busy, you know, and succeeding and that sort of thing. New York City, high profile job this guy used to work. So. No, no. And, <laughs> but but it, what this breath gives me now is the gift of pure presence mm. and I can I can it's okay it's okay to breathe and it's okay to be in my body which I know that sounds like a simple statement <laughs> but so 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 many times from in my life I have cut off subcon you know cut off the breath you know we do it when we're on our phones when mm -hmm. we're uh, we'll put it down and we'll be <sighs> and it's like what what was happening there and um, and so as a result I'm able to feel and I'm able to let the tears come if that needs to come but I'm also able to let the joy come too the uh, so many more octaves of life um, are, are sounding through now thanks to the breath mm, I and love that so that's why I share life. that's what I share with uh, with my, my soul fam <laughs> it's like the it's the fun it's the it's the joy uh, you know we get to grow together we get to fly together and that's how we're strong together you know, I mean, I really, it's interesting how, how things line up for us. And Aaron just called and was like, hey, I'm, I'm headed out your direction. And I'm like, awesome. And I needed him here right now. <laughs> you know, not last week, not next week, yeah. here. Yeah. And yeah, the way we can help and support one another, I think it's just extremely necessary for us all to do right now, especially because times are so intensely stressful. Yeah. But what I love about this breath, it's like I'm always talking about meditation and that is the way to connect with your higher self. But this is such a, and this is one of the ways you get into meditation is through paying attention to the breath and breathing. But it's such an easy way to just be still. Right. Yeah. They say like it, it can be hard to uh, wrangle the mind because it's wanting to move in so many directions. Yeah. So you can do you can do two starting points. Excuse me. One one way is you can do some physical body work. You know, so that like that's the focus focal point of your awareness. Um, but you can also do something that's just your breath, which is also directly linked to your the way that your mind works. The flow of the chi is the flow of the thoughts. It's the flow of the emotion. It's the flow of the the, the prana, the presence. Um, so, uh, just simple anchor with that. Yeah, and it uh, it it pulls you through 
the the hardest darkest times my brother-in-law uh, is you know very busy business dude and uh, I was surprised he wanted to try, to try the breath and he came up against some really intense fear in the breath and he just kept breathing I kept the, all I had, you know, one of the main reasons why I'm here is just to make sure that you keep breathing. Um, and just, he paused a little bit and then he, we got him back breathing and he, the fear that he, that made him stop actually transformed into this incredible bliss mm -hmm. <laughs> that was, you know, we talk about octaves, you know, like you hit, you strike a note, right? And there are low tones in there and there are also very high frequencies. And um, and it's really just the breath. If you just stick with the breath, and you're doing it the right form, right? You're not hyperventilating. This is not hyperventilating breathing or um, you know rebirthing. It's 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 different. Um, uh, it's more balanced, and it's also intense enough so that you can break through uh, into what you need to break through. It's just mind blowing to me how simple it is, and I'm always talking about how simple things are really but how simple it is to be able to just do a breathing technique and then everything else then happens for you and those emotions that they come up it's they're just flowing and they flow right out and I had those moments of laughter as well yeah you um, did that was great because that's that. normally my emotional release is typically laughter yeah. but you know also had some tears in there today because it was it was really intense what it was bringing up and the awareness that it brought to me was also really wonderful because yeah. I can sit in my consciousness and try to reason it out and even even then think I get a good hold of it but then it's not quite exactly it. I know. I'll like sometimes sit down with a journal and I'm like, I'm gonna write this out. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of times that's so helpful for me. And sometimes the words are the the problem, you know. Well, they're <laughs> they're they're the roadblock. Um, so it's just another it's another tool, you mm -hmm. know. So that the awareness, because ultimately it's about the awareness. It's like we want to be in a state of oneness, you right. know, where everything is, it's that divine flow. Yeah. We know, like when we met in Shasta, it right. was the synchronicity, the unity, the, oh, the the veils were lifted and there was intensity, but it, but that all of that is what we want so that we can step into the, the truth of who we are. Mm -hmm. and um, And so that's, yeah, that's that's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And that's what it shows you, yeah. the truth of who you are. It really shows you. I mean, I got I had so many different things coming through, like you said. What did you call it? <laughs> the Empress. The Empress. <laughs> I mean, that's I don't normally I, I I don't normally talk too much about visions or whatever that I have, but, but there was a very profound presence with you, Eric with you and with this a very uh galactically uh, minded uh, being yeah. that is doing a lot of work through you yeah. that um, is really <laughs> important to humanity yeah. and your awareness of so many um, you know pra so many so many um, oh, practices of course but it, it's really love awarenesses of love mm -hmm. uh, of what you're sharing mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. And you're doing so many different. I know you know you have your hands in a couple of really important projects right now that I know that you're birthing, and um, and so that presence of that empress was directly linked, and she was she was right there in the session with us, mm -hmm. and I had to kind of like. <laughs> she does you can't that. see well, like my, that my neck I was kind of like okay I gotta bow down a little bit here actually she, yeah. this is I've never had that happen in a session before but really? that's that was uh, that happened so well so it's interesting because it, what my perception of it was now this is and this is a, your, your eyes are closed the whole, yes. this whole time you're, you're absolutely in, yes in your own space yeah yeah I'm, this is all in my mind's eye but this is a, a presence who I've been communicating with for for a while now, 
And when she came in to this breathwork session, I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> and, and yeah, and, and she worked with me quite a bit in terms of actually protecting myself from energies that aren't mine, partly. Um, and, and also reminding me of my power, which she loves to do. <laughs> and and um, that that power comes from my heart center and that that power is love. And um, yeah, there was a bunch of different, I don't know, it's hard to explain all of the different things because it happens so, so quickly. Um, but that, that was a really big part that, that came through for me today. And I'm going to share this with you guys because I'm not the only one that does this. I'm always so concerned with others that I often forget about myself. And it's not that I forget about myself because I'm always taking care of myself and doing these things. But it's the big things. It's, it's the energetic things. It's the feelings. It's the um, expressions. It's, it's all of it. And, and putting others first. Like as a mom and a wife, I tend to put everyone else in the household, including the dog, before me. <laughs> and so I can, I, can, I can find a nice, happy balance in it. And that's partly what she was showing me there in that, in that protective robing that, that she gave to me today. So yeah. that was cool. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So this breath, I'm, I'm really amazed with, with breath work, but I'm not at the same time when I think about just the simplicity of how easy it really is to just yeah. be in touch and to be present. Um, and, and just, for me, it wasn't easy to breathe the way you were asking me to breathe. But you did it. But I did. Yeah. But what was cool about it is that's what I think, you know, shot me off into travel land. Well, partly, you mm -hmm. know, but you don't have your mind running because you're focused on trying to do something. Right. But that something is getting you more still and more still while it's shutting your mind down. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, uh, it's chewable. It's chewy enough, mm -hmm. meaning it's, it, it is intense enough for you to wrap your awareness around it rather than being pulled in many different directions. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, you get to just focus on a region that most people don't want to breathe into mm -hmm. either. You know, right. I would say like 65, 70% of people don't like breathing in their bellies. And when you put your, when you, when you feel their first breath, there is this breathing into the upper part of the lungs, which is, you know, along that lung one point in the corner where the collarbone and shoulder meet, that whole under part is, is a grief it's a lot of unprocessed, intense, lower vibrational emotions that gather here. Mm -hmm. And so people just, they're afraid to let go. And so then that creates lots of tension in the shoulders, but they don't want to go to that, that lower belly where a lot of other emotion gathers, but we don't want to breathe there enough. I, in my Qigong class, I like to say there's no six-pack abs in Qigong because <laughs> if you're too tense in your belly region where those abs, abdomen, you know, muscles are, uh, you cannot receive. And really, we don't have to do a lot to receive our power. We just have to kind of get out of the way. Totally. And by breathing, practicing breathing in your lower belly, in your Dantian region, which is just, you know, a couple inches below your belly button center point, uh, you get that access to receiving the power, not efforting, not clenching your stomach uh, mm. to force the power. Uh, it's literally here right now, ready to <laughs> pour in. Mm -hmm. uh, so is. And, it so is. The potentials yeah. are there for everyone. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always right there. Yeah, it's, it's that simple. It is. And then once you've got that clarity, you can continue to nurture that like a yeah. pearl. You polish the pearl with subtler practices like a Qigong or maybe it's a, a yin yoga or it's um, sound. Meditation, you know? Medi anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and really whatever doorway you find this awareness with, and maybe it's the breath, but maybe it's something else, Whatever you do, <laughs> just keep practicing it. Yeah. Because there's so much out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we got to go through a lot of it in mm -hmm. order to find the right fit. Exactly. 
And, yeah. and then as you go through that, you've got so many tools. But that's the gift of your podcast because you, you do get to expose your listeners to so many you know, mm-hmm. top quality practitioners. I've, you know, there's so many of them that I, I would like to name uh, <laughs> that I love. <laughs> yeah, no, um, we have wonderful guests but that have so many wonderful yeah. tools and yeah. techniques and yeah. They're just minds and perspective, yeah, you know, absolutely. and that these are just one more perspective. Yeah, and we all we need more yeah. because you know we could have had thirty different guests on the show, but mm-hmm. then the way the thirty first person said it was right for just that one person listening. Yeah, and that's what matters. Yeah, for me, helping the one helps the one, <laughs> the one whole, <laughs> and so it's really important to just just help one. Yeah, you know, as long as you can help one, yeah, yeah. But, and and so now I'm reminding myself too, and that one needs to start with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always out there. Yeah. You know, I'm such a helper being, always trying to do for mm-hmm. others and help others that I often do forget to be like, hold on a second. <laughs> Let me take care of me so then I can help others more. Exactly. And, and be a better help. Yeah. Contain your yeah. chi. Build and mm-hmm. contain your chi so you have some to share with others. Absolutely. Depleting yourself yeah. doesn't help you, doesn't help others. But humanly, that's just what... That's kind of the road that we take ourselves down. And then, like you were just saying, the almost refusal to let it go. It's like we want to hold on to the grief and the desperation and despair and the guilt and all of these things. Yeah. I do it too because when we started with the breath today, like very at the very, very beginning, I was kind of fighting back, just let it go. Like I was like, I didn't want to let it go. I was being a little brat inside. Yeah. Like it was... I yeah, don't and then know, you... part of me now, so I didn't want to, like, lose a tooth, I, right. you know? <laughs> right, and it was just a gentle tear or two, and then after that... It didn't feel so gentle. <laughs> it didn't feel so gentle at all. It felt really intense and really good. Yeah. Really, really good. I definitely feel a lot lighter, mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, definitely not as stressed. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, and there's another part of the, the breath that we did, which is that extended exhale breath, which is that heart rate variability breathing and um that is a whole other uh huge science behind it that basically induces the parasympathetic Mm -hmm. nervous system you know when we're breathing through our mouth that's a more of a sympathetic breath but that's good we don't want to be in a freeze response through all of our intensity right and that's Mm -hmm. what that's that's what allows it to get to the point that it's un- unbearable because we're in that freeze response. Right, it's stuck. Right. Yeah. So the we need something to break through that intensity, but then you integrate always with that a softer breath uh, that allows you to access that dorsal vagal complex at the back of your heart, um, which is what helps to slow down the par- uh, the heart rate and activate the parasympathetic, which is the healing center of our Christ light bodies. Yeah. Um, the stillness center. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. That's where the stillness yeah. is from. Yeah, yeah, it lets you. It lets the chi flow. Yeah. Uh, that when when you practice qigong, if you can practice that parasympathetic breath, you're going to feel a lot more in your practice. Yeah. I love this, Aaron. Where can people find you? Because Aaron's working online now, so which is really wonderful. So it yeah. doesn't matter where you are. You can get a hold of him and do some breath work. So tell people how to find you. Yeah, you can find me at my website, Aaron Gannon, A-A-R-O-N-G-A-N-N-O-N, AaronGannon.com. Love it. And That's easy. We do, uh, I do, we, I do. Um, You're a we. Zoom. We're all we, a we. We are all <laughs> we's. <laughs> uh, I, I do these sessions on Zoom, and um, I guide you through the acupressure points um, and I'll, uh, to help open up your breath. And usually the sessions are an hour and you can get a lot of work done. A yeah. lot of presence and love come through um, when you gift yourself this, even online. I've, that's been the big surprise is that it's actually worked so well online over these, this pandemic thing. Uh, so it's And it's very necessary. Yeah. 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 And I, I really needed it. And I didn't know how much I needed it until I did it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. You're such a treat. Thank, Thank you for sharing you, everything Erica, with our listeners. Yeah. You are wonderful. I can't wait to see you again. I know. It'll be just like yesterday. <laughs>
<laughs> so I think that's it for us today, everybody. Aaron's going to send us out with a song for today. Yeah, so this is Breathing Space by Sacred Earth, and it's a song I love to play in some of my breath sessions. It's a beautiful one. Enjoy it, you guys. Until next time, love you all. Also, before we queue up today's song, as a quick reminder, don't forget to download the Golden Key audio or ebook as my free gift to you at goldenkey.gift using the Golden Key code POSITIVEHEAD. And please, if you enjoy my gift, leave a positive review on Amazon so others can unlock their lives with the help of the Golden Key as well.